All right, people, we're here at the final push this week, uh, trying to get these uh, laminate floors laid in downstairs today. Uh, this weekend, actually, probably takes a couple of days. last night to start getting things ready for today just so we could hit the ground running. Those first couple of rows of the laminate flooring are the key parts. Um, that's where you have to get everything lined up and level, make your straight lines. Um, once you get those couple down, then it goes really fast after that because everything stays square, but those first couple can be kind of tricky. So as you can see here, we did stay late last night getting these first couple of rolls down. Like Kimberly said, these are key because if you don't get these square and straight, then you're gonna be off the whole way. And then when you get down to the other end of this room, you're in big trouble. And so we, uh, you know, so that we could kind of fly today, we wanted to get these in last night. When we were doing these uh, couple of rows last night, we had started out by laying the padding out over the entire room. Um, and we found out really quickly that that just didn't work for us. I know that's what they recommend, but we found it worked a whole lot better if we laid each individual roll out and just unroll it as we needed it. That kept things from getting um, a little shifted. They were, they were kind of getting off kilter and, and making it a little difficult for us. So this was a, a system that just worked a little better for us. Yeah, what we found out is we, we've used this flooring before, so we was very familiar with this flooring. Uh, it's Allen and Roth from Lowe's, and but, but when we used it before at our other house that we redid, the the padding was attached to the back, and I absolutely loved that because it made the installation a breeze. You didn't have to roll all this plastic out. Well, now they've changed it. It's 50 cents a square foot cheaper, but now you've got to buy this rolled padding. And what we found last night when we went to roll out these big rooms is this padding. You, you have to attach, you see right here, it's got a seam here that you have to attach. There's a plastic film that comes off the end of one piece and an adhesive strip on the other to stick them together. And once you stick these two together, it gives you your um, moisture resistant barrier underneath your flooring. But what happens is plastic is, it's only two millimeters thick. And then here at the end of the road, you can see this one's real wrinkly. So, you know, you get into the, the roll, this plastic starts shifting and kind of curving on you. So when we try to roll it out, it, especially in a room this big, if you're in a smaller room, we, you know, we did it upstairs in the laundry room and it wasn't a big deal. But in this big room, when it starts shifting, it causes a big problem. And so we just found it easier just to kind of roll it out as we go. And so luckily we had enough rolls. We just line them up and we're gonna go like a freight train. And so, like I say, we hope by this weekend we'll have all the major stuff completed. Um, the last time you saw us, we was kind of completing the upstairs. This weekend will basically mostly complete the downstairs. We got a little bit of cutting and painting to do, you know, some trim work, you know, all that little finesse and stuff. But all the we, final details. Yeah, but that's the reason why we're calling this episode the final push, because this is the final push. We're out of time. Well, we've got to get her done. And, uh, but this will be the major, the next major thing. We got the kitchen refinish going at the same time as we're putting these floors in. So all that should hopefully wrap up this weekend in the next two days. And, uh, then it's just final touches, putting, you know, putting a little finishing touches on things. We're gonna be heroes.
That right there is how you use this big square. We've had enough, tell them all, tell them all, here we come. Wake up, wake up, everybody, everybody, here we go. We've had enough, tell them all, tell them all, here we come. We're gonna right here boys and girls it's what you call good <laughs> because we just span about 30 feet from the front of the house all the way through there through two rooms I'll show you around the corner here around the edge and then if we come back up the hallway you see we just made this connecting moment right here and we are dead set on so you come all the way through here Got another doorway. Again, all the way back through the living room to the front. That's about 30 feet. That's the reason why it is so, so, so important. Those first two or three rolls you put in are critical because if you're cattywampus, even a quarter inch, by the time you span 30 feet, then you've got to come back here and connect this in the hallway. These two seams won't match. And then you've got a mess because you haven't got the other two rooms laid. So take time, make sure the first couple rolls are right, and then you don't have any problems. product and some befores and afters I think you're gonna be very shocked with the change yeah it's it's made the changes and I mean we really we really worked this house over from top to bottom we can't wait to see the before and after side by side ourselves and I hope you enjoy it too don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below guys and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you like what we're putting out there and we give you something of value give us a thumbs up so that it can get out there to more people we appreciate you tuning in every week Thank you guys for sharing.